Well, the newly signed Inflation Act will bring some money-saving changes for you down the road. Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with where you'll see the relief. Yeah, so it's it's hopefully coming soon, but most people unfortunately will not see any major changes to their wallets anytime soon. But mm. it will hopefully be a step in the it's a right long term. Hopefully in the right <laughs> direction. <Baby steps. laughs> yeah, so some of the people who will see an impact are those on Medicare. Beginning next year, insulin costs for people on Medicare will be capped at thirty five dollars a month. Then in 2025, seniors will have a two thousand dollar annual out of pocket cap on prescription drugs. When it comes to clean energy, people who buy new electric vehicles will be provided up to $7,500 in tax credits. When it comes to used electric cars, it's four grand. There will also be $14,000 in direct consumer rebates for families who buy heat pumps and other, other energy efficient home appliances. And to figure out what credits you and your family might qualify for when it comes to home improvements. Mm -hmm. I will be posting a calculator when I get back to my desk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so just all these little little pocket here and a pocket there to add. Yeah, it, it's, it, to me it looks like if you are looking to make changes in your home, make sure you look at these first because there might be some rebates you qualify for or tax credit tax credits you might qualify for for work yeah. you're already planning on doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I saw that electric vehicle. I'm wondering if it's hybrids qualify. I don't know. We'll uh, have to look. Yeah, it's and they're doing away with a couple of other things. So yeah. it's we'll see how it gets. Do your research. <laughs> I, I would yeah. lie if I said I read that whole bill. So yeah, maybe. yeah, but no, but you don't. You don't want to like fall right. victim to a salesman that's saying something without having checked it out. That's Correct. The bottom line. Yeah, the government actually has a really nice website set up for electric yeah. vehicles and what applies and what doesn't.